Okay, so let's talk about when to start prepping. So earliest, summer before junior year, I get a lot of, I get, a, I get mothers calling me, my students are freshmen, um, uh, you know, I want to start now, and I'm, look, I'm happy to do that, but chances are we're still going to be doing lessons junior year because, because they're going to want to, they're going to, their developmental cycles, especially now with COVID and everything where students have missed a bunch of time, um, you really, you, you should wait on this stuff till junior year, till summer going, summer going into junior year is the earliest. And that's actually a, a nice time to start um, because you've got, um, you know, you don't have a lot of other things going on and it also kind of keeps you mentally fresh so you don't get, get that summer brain going. Um, and it's a really actually a good time to start in the summer for that, especially if you've got a student who you think is, um, you know, possibly could get national merit. Um, or if you're just struggling or if you get busy, just need, need some extra space and time to focus, that is, a, summer's a really good time. The best time of the year, really, um, for most students is right now, um, early junior year. Um, and we're going to talk about sort of how you want to, you know, sort of the calendar for this. But starting now, when you're back in the swing of things, you kind of get your, sort of get your feet underneath you in terms of junior year and you're sort of, okay, so now I'm ready to, to look at these tests best time to start is really right now because the way the calendar sets up you don't want to be doing this stuff late junior year junior year is the toughest year for high school students bar none and especially second semester and by you know april or may you know i get students coming in you know they're just you know what where am i at what are we doing oh well, you know they're just walking zombies at that point. So, so you really want to try and see if you can front load this earlier on in the year so that you don't end up having to, having to study for this stuff late when you've got AP exams coming and finals and everything else. You'd rather get that out of the way, get, get your prep out of the way early. Now, if you want to take the test because you've taken it before, that's great. You want to retake it. And some, but I will tell you those May and June tests are some of the worst performing tests of the year. So you really want to see if you can get the bulk of your studying and, and scores testing done before the end of the semester there, before the end of the second semester. Um, and the latest, you know, I do have a lot of students who, <clears throat> every year I get students who, um, uh, you know, come in as seniors. I haven't taken this test yet. I need to take it. I realize I have to take it. Um, what can you do? That's not necessarily a bad thing. I have a lot of seniors who do really, really well. Seniors tend to do better than juniors anyway, just the way it is. Um, you don't necessarily want to wait on it if you, if you don't have to, but if you do, it's not necessarily critical. It's not, you haven't necessarily, you know, locked yourself out because seniors can do really well. They're focused, they're more mature, they're more businesslike about the test, and, they really want, and they're really motivated to do it. So, so senior is, not, is, is actually not a bad time to start if the, if, if the student really is motivated to do it. 